With season 10 coming to a close, the MMR is getting rather high on the leaderboard. Next season, I plan on going for top 10. But before the season kicks off this week, I had some really high level lobbies with Gen G and other pros. It's been a while since I've done some solo commentary with my thoughts and ranked, so I tried to go into detail of what my intentions are throughout the games. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's jump right in. All right, got Gen G on the team against me and Razebull. Let's see how it goes. So across the side here, Razebull's got probably not mid boost here. I gotta go back to mid really fast. Molly makes a pinch. I'm gonna stay close to this ball because I need to stay lo low with boost. This boost should spawn. Nolly did take it though. I actually got the boost. It's off backboard, but should be fast enough that Nolly can't score. Nice pinch by Razeball. It's round one. Has both of them up. They can't go on target though. Good touch from uh, Razeball to keep it close. I'm just gonna grab a few poop, poop, bleh, a few pads. Go towards target. Nolly will probably just chip it back in the mid. Razeball should be able to get the back corner boost, and I'll just uh, support him off this corner double here. Good save. Go off to, uh, towards target, see what Nolly does here. So push it forward. I'm going to try and support Razeball here in case he wants to wants me to go first. A little awkward, but we do make it. I don't know if I can get the, the save. I do get the save. And great pinch from Razeball there. A bit of an awkward position because that 50 came out super fast. I didn't expect it. Oh. I'm gonna go up for this extra touch. Should be alright, should be raisable now. I'm gonna try and zone out uh Jack. Although I did get demos, this could be really bad. Might be open, yeah. I could have maybe sat back further. I really thought an earlier flick was coming out from Raisable there, because he had the chance to just flick it immediately right there. And he waited a little too long for him to pounce on him. And I knew that he had to pick up the pace because Jack was coming from uh from behind. I'm gonna go pinch out a mid. I have no boost here. I hope that Razor leaves a few boost pads for me. He goes for the early shot. Yeah, early challenge. I'm not really sure what that was uh, from Razor. There's not really much he can cover there if he just pre jumps that because they're going to pass that every time. We still have lots of time here. Should be a shot. Great recovery off that uh, kickoff there. I mean, I, we definitely have some decent pressure. Um, they already have a lot of shots, though. We just need to get on their side a lot more. All right, chip to the side. Razeball got boost. It's a perfect start for the uh, the comeback. Molly's up. Try to keep this close. I tried to wave dash onto that, but should be all right. It's gonna jump back in the mid. I'm actually gonna take this boost because Jack's gonna turn in early, which is totally fine because I'm gonna get the boost in mid. Can't quite turn on this, I don't think. Maybe I can. Oh, my bad. Did not see Razeball there. Good demo from Jack. This could be good though. He's got a solo this. Nice shot, great play. Really good use of space uh, to pop that off the wall there, and then he didn't he didn't do like a doomsy dish. He ended up dropping to the floor instead, which is actually really smart because they don't expect that. So that's a round Jack. It should give me enough time to get this corner boost and hopefully demo Jack if he slows down. I'll let him touch that off the backboard, and hopefully Razeball can boom this back out. Looks like he's trying to keep it controlled. I'm going to do this double this in the mid and hopefully Razeball can follow it. He did get beat. This could be really dangerous for us unless I can get back here. He's got to shoot it really close. Nice shot. Yeah, a uh, little bit little bit not great of a lateral pass there for me and also just a little bit slow from Razeball to pop up to that, but we should bring it back here. Looks like Razeball gets the boost. He does. I missed the boost. <laughs> Slippery set though. Over one. Now he's going to save that no problem. Every day of the week. Good try on the bump. Double here in the quarter. Nolly has the boost though. Good 50. Jack's up for this. I'm just gonna wait in mid here. I don't want to go back all the way with zero boost here. Turn on one. Get the boost from him. The pinch across is actually good for us because Rachel should be able to get the touch first. He does. And it's in. Let's go. So really good control. Uh, really good use of space there from Razeball. I knew he was gonna beat him there, and then I said had to be uh, play the patience game against apparently Jack there who. If he challenged there, I would have went, went a little bit earlier. This is an awkward start here, but should have get in the way. There we go. I'm going to pop it over. I'm trying to bump him. Good positioning. Nolly's a little awkward. I'm just going to go for the early challenge. Make Jack have to turn or something. There we go. The raise still really far away. This could be really bad. Actually, Nolly turns off the ball, so should be all right. It's important that I go up early there and try to stay in front of this. Oh, I'm not sure about Razeball going though. This could be really bad for us, especially if Jack bumps me. There we go. I got zero boost though. 
Could be good. Jack went for the uh, the mid boost, so if we get early cut in here, it could be really good for us. Round one. Over the other. And we finish. Nice. We got one minute left. We got to hold our uh, lead here. But a great start. Now, I haven't played Rocket League in a bit, and it's uh, already very sweaty. This could be a good shot opportunity. I'm going to actually fake this, because Jack's going to control this. Raise all that space now. I can take it back. Wait for the corner boost. Grab here from Razel and watch the demo off Jack. We get an early challenge here. Actually, this might be, almost be open. Okay, early touch from uh, Jack. I gotta get back here. It's gonna be dangerous. Crab bomb Jack. Great challenge. I'm gonna stay relevant because I don't wanna go all the way back here. Off the wall. I see Razel's up though, so I'm just gonna wait. Goes for the 50. Jack might still have this, so I'm just gonna wait. There we go. Looks like he was maybe going to try and bait for the, the back corner boost or go for the touch. That's really bad for me. Just touch off the corner. I don't really want to do anything crazy. I don't want to overcommit. We got 19 seconds left. It's over, but it shouldn't be on target. It's good. Pop it up. I'm going to fake the jump here. The way Jack waits a little bit, and then we go back. Jump again, see what Nolly does. He's gonna try and pass his cross. And nice cut from Raise Bowl. Really good first game. Honestly, feeling really good. Let's keep it going. A little prodigy three goals, no problem. Alright, next game we've got Corrupted G and Rapid versus me and Arcs. I'm not sure who this Arcs guy is, but we'll see how it see how it goes. Good chip in the mid. It's gonna be uh, probably Gabe first. Arcs is back and getting the boost. Try and bait him a little bit. Pop it over. That way yeah, Rapid can't get the corner boost if he does if he wants to stay with this. Wait for Gabe to see what he does. A little bit of a laggy touch, but it works. So I'm just trying to play patient there, trying to make sure I read the situation. I know one of them's gonna try and challenge me early, because they're both back. Take the boost from him here. Take out the wall around him. I can't quite follow it though. Arcs is up. And nice finish. Great pass off the backboard. He definitely could have shot that too, because Rapid was kind of the sitting duck, but. The, uh, the pass off the backboard works too. And honestly, he was probably trying to shoot that. Let's be real. <laughs> that happens a lot. I'm going to grab the back corner here. See what happens with Gabe. I see Arcs is staying with us. He's going to probably get like a, a pretty light 50 here. Ends up missing the boost though. Good pop from Rapid. It's a little high though. Good save. I don't know why I'm just sitting there watching. I, I, I kind of just assumed that it might go in. So I kind of stopped moving, but... I don't know if I can follow this right away. Looks like I can. I'm trying to keep it close here. I get back. Pull boost. Good pace for my teammate. I got the back right corner while he gets the uh, flip reset here. Now Gabe might try to boom this back in or something. So I'm just going to wait for his touch. That's over me. That's totally fine though. Unless he 50s it into uh, the opponent, which he did. He definitely could have uh, hit that around him because he had space too. He's got to go a little bit higher up on the ball at the start. To pop that around the player, or else the uh, person who's going for the air dribble is just going to sit on it like that. If Arx gets that boost, which I think he does, it doesn't even matter if Gabe stays on this because, as you can see, it's too awkward for him to make anything happen. Now I'm going to go sit right here, see if he passes it. Oh! Nice finish. Nice one. So I didn't really shoot that that well. It hit off the, cor uh, the corner of the post, but honestly, that worked out really well, and I really like that Arx was looking for me in mid there. Very smart. 50. Gabe's gonna stay with this. I'm gonna just stay with the the touch. Over one. I'm gonna pop this immediately and then go for the left mid. See, Rap is trying to chase me, which he does get the uh, the chase. Pop this up. See if Rap can uh, follow this. He might try to. Good fake from him. It's both players. I'm gonna stay with this. I got boomed to the ceiling. Wish us luck. Hoping that is hopefully a s oh, my teammate's still not back. Yeah, that's tough. I was hoping that was strong enough that my teammate could recover, but I think he actually completely bailed for the back corner boost. Oh. He had absolutely zero. Okay, so that's why he took so long. He didn't boost back down to the floor, which I would usually expect people, if they're going to challenge like that, to uh, boost to the floor. That way you can get back as, f as fast as possible. Now we do get boomed here. Try and pop. Yeah, I actually went for that, so that should be good for us here. 
He went for this too. Just clear to the corner. I don't really want to do anything crazy because I got 60 boost still. It's fine. Wish my teammate here. Hopefully my teammate can get back. Nice, he does. Well played. We might mess each other up here. I'm just going for these heavy 50s. And he's going for these bumps too. So we gotta be very careful. Team is in a good spot though. He should challenge this. Gabe's not in good control. I'm gonna fake this. Go around them. That way we can stay with this. I'm gonna try and bump Gabe too so he can't go for it. And I get the mid boost. So it was a very low risk. Good fake. I'll stay with this. I don't really want to do anything crazy. It should be uh, my teammate to follow us up on the side here. It didn't give us a favorable bounce. But it still works. See what he does here. He's probably going to stay with us. I, I want boost. Unfortunately, my teammate just took mid boost. So I got to go all the way back. Please stay with this. Decent. So my teammate should have full boost here and control. Good try. Be a pinch here. Oh, what the heck? Okay. So he does. Off the backboard. My teammate to return the clear here. Big booming clear from Rapid. Should give you space for my teammate. I'm going to grab a few boost pads on the way back. He went early for the challenge. And get mid boost. There we go. Rapid's awkward. Big flicks. That way he just forces them up into a weird backward touch. He gets a double, but once again, there's so, so much space here. 50 as well. 50 boost. Teammate goes for it. Uh, if I turned earlier, I would have been able to get that goal there. I really didn't expect Gabe to go for the demo. For a fake here. My teammate's up. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm going to back off. Very 50. He's them both up. They're panicking in case I go for it. Go for a boom across. No problem. What I'm going to try to do is tap this off the wall and then follow here. Oh, I wanted to bump Gabe. My teammate being up is a little dangerous. So my teammate uh, could get outplayed here. Rapid goes for the shot down the field. I don't like that he leaves that, but it should be okay. Pop off the sidewall. The round is to be down for overtime here. So not too bad. We've had some pressure back and forth. Should be a finish too. <laughs> okay. I say that and we get an instant kickoff goal. I saw the, the force of the back left. And uh, and then I just went for the, the speed flip. It wasn't really a full speed flip because I didn't have any boost there, but... GG to my teammate. Really well played from Arcs. Uh, we we had we had up two goals there and then ended up losing two. So we brought it back, which is nice. Yeah, game two in the books. I think we're pretty close. Let's see. 20, 2173. Not bad. Almost 2200. All right. And for the final game, we got Forky on our team against Wondamike and LJ. It's going to be a really tough game. Probably a loss, to be honest. Nothing to do with Forky, just with LJ. And, and also Wondamike being uh, the twos player he is. He's very goaded at twos. So we'll have to see how this game turns out. Look like at past middle here. LJ panicked off the backboard. Good touch. Didn't expect that miss from LJ on the backboard. Almost behind both of them. I'm going to try and grab the corner boost here. Start to starve if we can. Not the greatest touch from Forky, but he does pass it back. I got space here. The extra touch was not really fully necessary. I'm going to stay with this here. Not great, but should work out. Nice. What I'm trying to do there is just catch one of my off guard. It should hopefully give us a chance for a boom back, which it does. Let's see what LJ does with this corner. He's gonna have this off the ceiling, no problem. One will probably beat here. Nice touch. And LJ has this for free. I'm gonna go up now. I think Forky's up again, so I'm a little scared. I'd be really careful of Forky's early challenges because he's very, very aggressive to the point where it. You know, if you go in a spot where you're supposed to be going, it doesn't really matter because he will probably end up going as well. I, still, I think that's just like his style in twos. Um, but yeah, I, I tend to usually like just let him like sit on the front uh, of every challenge. As I said, I'm bumping LJ with an early challenge here. Okay, one mic wasn't ready. Go for a flip reset here. The round should be uh, forky to follow this. Nice touch. Back to me. Really good patience from LJ there. Most players would have pushed forward on that. But LJ knowing the position he's in. 
Oh, come on. Shot, maybe? What a save. Alright, should be okay. I got bumped again, though. Should be space for four key. I can't remember what I was saying. I can't even finish my train of thought. This game's been going crazy. Oh. Grab this, grab this boost from one of Mike. I do get bumped, though. Oh, Forky went, though. And there it is. Yeah, that's the early challenge from Forky. I, I really didn't expect that. I was trying to sit near the ball, and uh, Forky came flying in. I could not follow it, unfortunately. I probably could have went right on that touch, but it was so hard with my half flip. Caught off guard. And that's how a goal goes sometimes in twos. Early challenge from uh, LJ as well, so we're met in mid there. Pop-up should be good actually for us. All right, should be good for us as well. Off the wall here. I got bumped by Forky. <laughs> it's good to be in though. Yeah. Oh, it's not, it's not. Forky though, finish it. No, <laughs> Forky! Oh no, don't touch it, don't touch it. No, Forky! <laughs> I'm going for this. Got space on that. I don't think LJ can get this, so it should be a follow up. But one of might go for this. Off the wall. It's going to force LJ back onto this touch right here. All I'm going to do is just boom off the backboard because I knew one of Mike was going to be following super early. Alright, I, I think we definitely should not be down 0 1 0 right now, but we can definitely bring this back. I see the pass up opportunity up here, so I'm just gonna try and block angles. He misses. It's off. Oh no, it's gonna be in anyway. Yeah, this is just mass panic. I was trying to sit on the backboard there. There's no direct shot off that redirect, off the backboard uh, double. All right, so bad touch from one of Mike to give us some space. Early challenge. The Forky's oh, okay. <laughs> Forky's most of his boost. So I'm like, I should probably take it from him, but he's going to go for a pinch play. That's going to give them possession. So I'm going to wait wait here. I'm not trying to rip into Forky's game, uh, play style, um, but definitely just a little bit of awkwardness. We could get a, a good opportunity here, though. Good 50. Oh, what the heck? That's good. Good space. Oh, that's really good play from them. Did not expect that uh, early challenge. That, that's on me, definitely, but... You know, with, with one minute left, I, I really don't know how many opportunities we're going to get, considering uh, we've just, like, peppered shots at them and nothing's really gone in. Definitely need to form a little bit more of a plan. Give me a save from LJ. Should be a shot off the corner here. I'm going to bump one of my out of the net. It's a decent flick, but it's right back to LJ again. And let's wait for a flick. It's across. Get my boost taken. You know, you can't win them all. Unfortunately, this is uh, this is definitely one of those games where, like, I, I kind of anticipated the loss anyway. Oh, I missed. Um, but definitely, uh, definitely was winnable. Just a few mistakes. And a few uh, chances where I had the ball and uh, Forky took it from me where I could have followed it up. I'm going to try and bump LJ here. Why not? Doesn't even matter. To you. We get it. There we go. So not a, not a great uh, last game here, but honestly, I feel like just a few things that could have changed, like, you know, understanding that we had possession and space in mid there, um, rather than uh, taking it away from me. This still could be a good chance, although, yeah, it's going to be a finish here. Unfortunate game. Like I said, um, I feel like overall we played pretty well, though, today. Not the greatest final game, but until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Man, we had a lot of shots, though.